Hi, it's Laura at Hyper Stamper. I redid uh, the cover of this beautiful junk journal. This is a wedding junk journal. And as you can see, what I did is I added, I used to put these little lace wedding dresses on the covers of all of them. And I have since learned from emails, if I added this, that, that people would love to get it. So I've added this beautiful little dress that I made out of crochet and all different laces here and vintage trims and a little vintage earring here, and I made a little hanger here uh, for it to hang. And the rest is all beautiful vintage crochets and laces, these beautiful crocheted flowers here. And then I also added this wonderful uh, bangle made out of my vintage beads here, and just some more ribbons. And I just think it is smashing. So let me take you on a quick tour. I've also added some things to the inside these gorgeous, uh, truly vintage buttons. Um, I just love them. And this uh, thread here came from the original uh, binding of uh, an antique book. So this is pretty special. This is from the 19, early 1950s. And this is from Buffalo, New York. And isn't that just a stunning picture of a wedding cake? Like a classic, beautiful old wedding cake with the uh, bride and groom's hands there. And underneath I have hidden in here, the invitations to that wedding, the original invitation. And this is a baking company because I thought that was perfect for a cake theme on that page. And that's from 1953. So that's pretty special. And then a positions in dancing to honor the bride and groom's first dance. This is a uh, 1957 page from my book house, a bride and groom there. And look at this sweet little postcard here. I just thought it was adorable. And to me, it looked like a little bridesmaid. And that is from uh, 1926. This is another wonderful plate from 1905 here. And that is um, the wedding party dancing. And then, oh, look at little uh, 1926 there. So I made little pockets here on a page called the wedding day. And that's where I'm gonna stuff those pieces back in. And then on the flip side, the Royal Road to Romance, and that came out of an antique book, so you can journal on there. And this piece here is so special. Look at this, from 1926. 94 husbands out of 100 said, give me home canned fruits and vegetables every time. I just thought that was adorable. So that mentions the husband in our little wedding junk journal here and just some vintage pages here. Look at this beautiful vintage uh, inside cover page. And this is a page from an antique book and the chapter was called Marriage. How do I love the antique book? Oh no, I'm sorry. Um, okay, we're gonna try, I've redone this video book four times because of lazy. <laughs> I'm gonna try to plow through and hopefully there's no outtakes. Uh, over here we have the wedding party. Uh, which is really kind of cool, different kind of wedding party. And this is from 1908. Isn't that fantastic? That's a real treasure, as is this one here. I just love this one. And that is from 1931. So double bonus there. How cool is that? And another little page here. I've turned into a journaling envelope. And you'll note that this is called This Is My Beloved. And that was a dust jacket from an antique book as well. They see behave. A vintage book a wedding cake recipe on a vintage recipe book page. <laughs> this is an actual um, wedding vow page. Oh, I'm so sorry. Wedding vow page from uh, 19. Oh my gosh, I want to say it's the 1930s or 40s uh, from Oliver and Arilla. I love it. And this book page here is called The Happy Couple. Excuse me. I just have to. I can't. I can't. I have to move around. <laughs> Sorry, let's pick it up where we started. Here is a pressed flower for the bride's bouquet. And this is just a wonderful piece from the 1800s on how to write letters. And um, I just I just think it's wonderful, a woman how to write to a, a young lady. And that's a bride and groom page from an antique book. Isn't that neat? Lavender and Old Lace was that book. Long since been a junk journal. This is a vintage... Um, late 40s, early 50s. The person who wrote that wasn't quite sure, but it is the Rodriguez family. Look at that beautiful wedding party. I 
love it. This is a real treasure, this book. I can't even tell you. This is the little waterfall journaling spot here for lots of notes. And here is a proposal here for 1930s children's book page. And look at this one. Look at this beautiful couple here. And that is from uh, 1926 as well. Isn't that wonderful? Look at this. Just fantastic. I am in love with that. And hard to give up some of these, but um, I, I enjoy them. And then I have to let others enjoy them. And a little peekaboo page here. And this is just a little book here I made up. Marriage, little tag, and uh, you can journal on the front and back of that. Not a book, sorry, a tag. And this was a little tiny card. And back in the day, they used to cut the top and then reuse it. So I just thought those sweet little uh, bridal shower invitation there. And then here is Love and Friendship from, uh, I believe, uh, Husband and Wife, and then Her Answer. These are just such great pieces. And uh, as you can see, everything in here is authentic vintage ephemera and antique ephemera. The Bride of Corinth. And then I've got some Chantilly lace here from the vintage wedding dress. Love. Here is that same uh, wedding vows package here. This is a little vintage pendant, a heart with uh, some roses on it. It's a little pendant. You could probably actually pull that off and wear it if you wanted. And then this here I encircled with a little frame that says Mary in a vintage dictionary. This is just a really fun old card from the 70s. Looks like a little groom here. Congratulations. So that would have been probably a wedding or engagement card, but you can journal on that. First in my heart, beautiful vintage piece here. Look at this one here. This is from a 1903 book. Look at that. That is stunning. Wonderful. You can't get any better. You can journal on the back. Making happy, happiness for Maisie. And then some wonderful child has colored in these flowers here that looks like a bit of a bouquet. Here's another one of these wonderful buffalo wedding pages. That's an actual photograph from the photographer, probably the prints. And then these, these vintage buttons here from Modella. Aren't they great? They're so great. Because look at the buttons on her dress. Another wonderful wedding page here from the children's book from the 30s. And I turn this part into pocket. Now look here. We've got, these are actual uh, pressed flowers from my garden and the baby's breath is from my daughter-in-law's bouquet that she, we pressed all the flowers from and she let me have some. And here is the something borrowed something blue. This used to belong to someone else so it's borrowed and blue. So uh, I just think it is sweet. Look at the embroidery on there. It's absolutely stunning. So that was a suggestion by a wonderful viewer to add something blue to my wedding journals and I, I took that to heart. Uh, at this beautiful, happy, greet, hearty greetings. And this one is from 1917. Yes, it's in very bad shape, but it is survived, you know, over a hundred years. And I think it is very worthy of being in this wonderful wedding journal. This year is just a really fun back part of a book. It was the back cover and they're dancing at a wedding there and you open it up and you can do some journaling inside here as well. And then I've got, it's a vintage postage page. And this is a from a vintage bird book, but I thought it was great because it has the, uh, the male and female there and their eggs and their nest. So a little married couple of birds there. Many birds mate for life. So I thought that was wonderful. Just a little wonderful children's page here. Uh, some churches here. And you're going to see how wonderful are those and just more wonderful lace and embroidery and fabric work. Look at this piece here from the 1800s, If You Will Marry Me. Oh my God, and there's all the words to that antique paper on the back for extra journaling space. Here is a, just a great plate from a book and it looks to me like they are doing some shopping for the wedding feast. Vintage paper here and then look at this. This is so beautiful for my wife. Uh, on her birthday and I just thought that needed to be in here because it has the words wife from a, from a loving husband. A little piece of interior spine there and she would and would not. Now this is just a funny piece. It is from the 70s from a comic book and it's uh, will you marry me joy? And she says of course zip. Zip? Really? 
It's like a bad soap opera me. And this, of course, is um, a classic. This is from, uh, now I'm going to go blank. We all know her. Edith? Edith Holden? Oh my God, I'm so embarrassed. Uh, it's, this is a, a plate from the 70s. So this is actually not a brand new reproduction, but from it's a vintage, which I'm very proud of. And I hoard those ones. And there you go. That is our wedding journal. It's going on Etsy now. I hope you love it as much as I loved making it and remaking it. Hyperstamper.etsy.com. See you soon.